Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Clayton. I was just working on processing some of my pawpaws when I came across a uh, skin removal paper from Michigan State for fruit uh, improvement or improvement of the skin removal. And so I read that there was like a couple of different types of ways to remove the skin of the pawpaw and one of the recommendations was to try blanching. So I am blanching these pawpaws after I've quartered the skin. You can kind of still see those lines with the that I cut there. I let it start to green up. You can already see that it's starting to green up. Um, it's a little cloudy this water because I did add some lemon juice that wasn't really recommended in the blanching but it was recommended to keep the fruit from oxidizing so I figured I may as well make sure that it's okay. You can see that the lines are starting to separate a little bit. I leave it in there for really realistically until the color changes. So, Like I said you can see it's starting to turn a little bit more green on certain parts of it where the green is getting more vibrant. Um, but for the sake of speed I'm going to take this one out because I do have an example that's already prepped. So I drop it into ice water and here is my already prepped one that's been sitting in the ice. Here are some that I've already made up, but trying to do this with one hand, I'm able to peel off not only the skin on this one, but the layer, the very thin outer layer that has the bitter compounds in it that I don't like the taste of. And what I've observed is it ruins the baking. So not every single time can you get the entire layer off. Sometimes you have to use a spoon to get the rest off. So this is a perfect example here. So if not all of it comes off, again, trying it with one hand, you just do that. Just like that, and it comes, comes off and discard that. So this isn't the fastest but it might be the neatest <laughs> um, way to do it so yeah I just take off that extra layer and I don't have to get all of it because again working with one hand but then it is ready to go and so that was pretty quick considering um, the way I've been doing it is just squishing the papa out of the outside I think that this is able to um, give me more pulp than if I was doing it um, just squeezing them out so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool and I hope you guys try it and let me know what you think.